Scott Samuel Scooter Braun is an American media proprietor, record executive, and investor. Known as the manager for artists such as Ariana Grande, Justin Bieber, J Balvin, Demi Lovato, and other artists, he is the founder of Schoolboy Records and Ithaca Ventures, co-founder of TQ Ventures, Mythos Studios, and RBMG Records, and co-owner of eSports Team 100 Thieves. Chapter 1 Early Life Braun was born in New York City to conservative Jewish parents, Irvin and Susan Braun. Irvin's parents lived in Hungary until 1956, when they fled to the United States. Irvin grew up in Queens and became a dentist, Susan Schlussel Braun, was an orthodontist. After the couple married, they settled in Coscob, Connecticut. Braun has four siblings. He grew up in Coscob, Connecticut and attended Greenwich High School where he was elected class president. Braun attended Emory University in Atlanta, where he played college basketball, until his sophomore year. After Jermaine Dupree asked him to become the head of marketing at his label, So So Deaf, Braun reportedly dropped out of college before completing his degree. Chapter 2 Career Braun began organizing parties while studying at Emory University in Atlanta. In 2002, Braun was hired to plan after parties in each of the five cities on the Anger Management Tour, featuring Ludacris and Eminem. This launch into the world of hip-hop led Braun to producer Jermaine Dupree, the director of So So Def Records. Braun was 19 years old when Dupree asked him to join So So Def in a marketing position, and 20 when Dupree named him So So Def's executive director for marketing. Still in his sophomore year at Emory, Braun was working at So So Def and operating his party promotion business. Some of his larger events included parties for the 2003 NBA All-Star Game and after parties on Britney Spears' Onyx Hotel Tour. Braun departed So So Def to start a private venture including a marketing business, music label, and artist representation. He started his own marketing business by brokering a $12 million campaign deal between Ludacris and Pontiac. The music video for Ludacris' Two Miles an Hour would feature a Pontiac while Pontiac's commercials would feature the song. Braun first encountered Justin Bieber when he saw a video of a 12-year-old Bieber on YouTube, performing a song by Neo. Braun contacted Bieber's mother, Patty Millette, who agreed to bring her son to Atlanta for a no-strings-attached trial period. Eventually, Braun convinced them to move permanently from Canada to the United States. After further online success, Braun pitched Bieber to two successful artists, Usher and Justin Timberlake, both expressed interest. Eventually Usher's mentor, music executive L.A. Reid, signed Bieber to a deal with Island Def Jam in partnership with Raymond Braun Media Group. Chapter 2 Section 1, Film and Television Braun produced Never Say Never, a documentary on pop star Justin Bieber that MTV reported in 2011 as one of the highest-grossing music documentaries in domestic box office history. The film's budget was $13 million and earned over $100 million worldwide. Braun was also an executive producer for the CBS drama Scorpion, which aired from 2014 until 2018. In 2018, Variety reported that FX had ordered a pilot of Dave, a comedy executive produced by Braun that includes actor Kevin Hart and rapper Lil Dicky. In its first season, Dave was the most watched comedy on FX. In July 2019, SP Projects agreed to a first-look deal with Amazon Studios that includes television and film scripts. Chapter 2 Section 2 SP Projects In 2007 Braun established SP Projects, a full-service entertainment and marketing company encompassing a range of ventures including Schoolboy Records, SP Management, and Sheba Publishing, a songwriting firm. The group also includes RBMG, a joint venture between Braun and Usher. Schoolboy Records had a music distribution arrangement with Universal Music Group. In early 2013 Ariana Grande was signed to Scooter Braun's management and in 2016, Grande's label, 
Republic Records confirmed that Braun served as her main manager handling all aspects of her career. SP Ventures also handles television campaigns, branding, music licensing deals, and tour sponsorships, including Justin Bieber's Calvin Klein endorsement for the 2016-2017 Purpose World Tour. The company also brokered a partnership between Kanye West and sneaker brand Adidas. Chapter 2 Section 3 Ithaca Holdings Ithaca Holdings, Braun's holding company that includes SB Projects, raised $120 million in 2010 for venture capital including investments in Uber, Spotify, and Editorialist. Media outlets reported that Ithaca, with $500 million under management as of 2018, would back Good Story Entertainment, a collaboration between Braun and an entertainment executive J.D. Roth, in acquisitions for unscripted, live event, and documentary films. In June 2019, Ithaca acquired Big Machine Label Group in a purchase that included the masters to the first six albums of American singer songwriter Taylor Swift. The acquisition was financed by the Carlyle Group and several other private equity firms. Its founder Scott Borchetta remains with the company as CEO as a minority shareholder in Ithaca. Braun received criticism from Swift's fans due to Carlyle Group's involvement in the war in Yemen. On April 2, 2021, South Korean company Hybe announced that it would acquire Ithaca Holdings from Braun and Carlyle via the subsidiary Hybe America, in a deal estimated to be around $1 billion. As part of the sale, Braun will join Hybe's board of directors. Chapter 2 Section 3 Subsection 2 Disputes In June 2019, the masters to the first six studio albums by American singer-songwriter Taylor Swift were acquired by talent manager Scooter Braun as part of his acquisition of Big Machine Records, Swift's record company until 2019. Swift said she had been trying to buy the masters for years, but that big machine had offered unfavorable conditions. She condemned Braun's purchase, although she attempted to make peace, she denounced him as an incessant, manipulative bully. Big Machine's former president Scott Porchetta said that Swift had declined an opportunity to buy the masters and challenged Swift's claims. Swift and Big Machine have had a series of disputes, including Swift's allegations of Big Machine blocking her from using her older material for the American Music Awards of 2019 and the documentary Miss Americana, as well as an unauthorized release of Live from Clear Channel Stripped, 2008 in 2020. Swift announced she would re-record her first six studio albums as a means to gain ownership to her back catalogue. In April 2021, she released Fearless, a re-recording of her 2000, and eight album Fearless. In 2021, Braun filed for arbitration in a legal dispute with former business associate, Peter Komisar, who led a private equity fund in which Braun had invested. Chapter 2 Section 4, Mythos Studios In 2018, the New York Times reported that Braun had joined David Maisel, founding chairman of Marvel Studios to form Mythos Studios to produce comic book movie franchises in live-action and animated formats. Chapter 3, Awards In 2013, Braun was included on the annual Time 100 list of the most influential people in the world. He also appeared a second time on the cover of Billboard in its April 20, 2013, issue, alongside Guy Osiri and Troy Carter. In 2016 Scooter won the award for Best Talent Manager at the third annual International Music Industry Awards presented by Shazam at the 12th annual Mus Expo in Los Angeles. Braun was nominated a Grammy Award for Album of the Year for Purpose in 2016. In 2017, Braun appeared on the cover of both Variety Magazine's Hitmakers Issue and Success Magazine's Gratitude Issue. In 2018, Braun was honored with the Music Biz 2018 Harry Chapin Memorial Humanitarian Award for his philanthropic efforts in 2017. In 2019, Braun earned national recognition at the Jefferson Awards for Public Service in New York. In 2020, Fortune Magazine named him in its 40 Under 40 list in media and entertainment. Chapter 4, Philanthropy Braun is involved in various charities including the Braun Family Foundation. 
He also assists with his brother Adam's charity, Pencils of Promise. Billboard reported that as of 2017, Scooter Braun, along with clients and his companies, have granted more wishes for the Make-A-Wish Foundation than any other organization in the history of the foundation. Scooter Braun was honored with the Humanitarian Award at the 2016 Billboard Touring Awards for his philanthropic support of Pencils of Promise, the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and Fuck Cancer. Braun coordinated a charity single, Stuck With You by Justin Bieber and Ariana Grande, both of whom he manages, to raise money to mitigate the COVID-19 pandemic. All net proceeds from the song went to the First Responders Children's Foundation to fund grants and scholarships for children of first responders and health care workers who worked on the front lines during the pandemic. Chapter 5, Personal Life In 2013, Braun began dating Yael Cohen Braun. The couple wed on July 6, 2014, in Whistler, British Columbia at Cohen's parents' house. On February 6, 2015, they had their first child. They had their second child, on November 29, 2016. On December 1, 2018, Cohen and Braun had their third child and first daughter.